Hi YouTube and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do an unboxing of the Antminer D3 and also we're gonna need the power supply that's a 1600 watt EVGA G2 uh, gold 80 plus power supply. We're also gonna need a power over Ethernet so we can run this thing any way we want and a network cable. The second thing you need is a computer to set it up. A lot of you guys ask me as you can see right here a lot of you ask me to do a video about the D3 it's really hard to get this thing, seriously. You ha I had to wait like months. Now let's start with the unboxing of the D3. I'm very excited. It's supposed to be exactly the same design as the uh, Antminer S9 and all those. And um, this one mines Dash. So we're gonna mine some Dash today and we're gonna see how much profit we're gonna make, how long it's gonna take us to make profit. We're also going to calculate wattage and see how much watts and how much it costs electricity every month. Alright, let's see what's inside. First thing is the Antminer warranty and instructions. Wow. It's pretty big. So look at this beautiful foam right here. It's really well protected. And also this bubble wrap all over it. Wow, look at this. It does look a little different from the rest of them. As you can see, there's a, some sort of an intake here. That's, that's a little different. I've never seen that before. And uh, in the front here, this is where you connect your ethernet cable. There's also a place here to click the restart. And uh, this is indication lights right here, so you can see what's going on. But we're gonna have to plug some power now. So let's unbox the power supply that you need to run with this. Now they recommend 1,300 watts or higher. So I always go with 1,600 watts when I run those big machines. You can go online also buy their uh, Bitmain power supply as well by use EVGA because then I can use 110 volts over here in California and also use it anywhere in the world if I want to. Now I'm putting this aside. Let's open up the EVGA 1600 watt beast that we're gonna run our Antminer D3 with. I absolutely love EVGA products. They're very, very reliable and they have really good customer support as well. I'll leave a link below if you wanna see the products yourself or purchase one from Amazon. All right, here's the power supply. Instructions. It comes in this uh, nice sleeve, as you can see here. I'm gonna take it out of the sleeve. Beautiful, very big, and it's fully modular, so you can connect any type of connections over here. And we're gonna use, actually, I believe, 10, 10 different VGA cables to run basically nine for the boards, three every board, and then one more for the main board to run the ethernet and the control. And now for the cables. There's a whole box separate for the cables. Let's uh, pull out the 10 cables that we need. There's another bag for the cables as well. power cord and now look how thick this power cord is so very very thick ready for 1600 watt action it's a motherboard connection but we're not going to actually use it we're just using it for the jumper the jumper is included we're going to use the jumper to make the power supply think it's always on so now let's start collecting our EVGA cable so we we need uh, 10 of them total so this is one and there's two in there so that's one and 10 here you go. Here is the jumper that's included. So we're gonna need that as well, plug into the motherboard power. Now it's time to connect the cables, the power from the power supply to the D3. One to the board and then the rest to the hashing boards. There's something satisfying connecting those power cables for some reason. I love it. The click of it, you know? Ah, so satisfying. I actually needed one more cable. 
So here it is, the last one. And in. So here's the power supply view. Now it's time to connect the motherboard power. So then we can do the jumper. So it consists of two connectors. Let's go for it. And that's two. All right, so here's the jumper. It's included in the EVGA power supply. And click. So here's the setup all together. As you can see, I tied up the cables with some Velcro that is included in the EVGA power supply. I plug it all in the D3. And now what we have left to do is plug in the main power to the power supply. And the next step is to provide ethernet to the device. Now it takes a little while for this device to work. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes of setup time to start getting some hash rate on your system. In order to get Ethernet, what I'm using is power over Ethernet. So I'm just plugging this to the wall and it provides me with Ethernet access. So it doesn't matter where I am. And I'm going to use this network cable. One of them is going to go directly to the D3 like this. So the other side goes directly to the power over Ethernet line. Last thing we have to do, plug it into the wall. Let's turn it on. That's the scariest part always for me because it's such a powerful device. So all you have to do is uh, power up the EVGA. It's on right now. It's super quiet, but I already know that it's in starting mode. It will take about 10 minutes for this to start working. And then that's when the fans will spool up all the way. It will start to be very noisy and hot. So let's wait until that starts. It's on. I need to speak a little louder as you can see. This is not something you can put in your kitchen. You're gonna have to put it in your garage or in your room or something because it's freaking loud. Our supply has no problem at all running this device. The EVGA can take it, no problem. Now we're gonna go to the computer, choose a pool where it's gonna mine for you in a pool and you get the dash coins. So we're gonna go in, find the IP address for this specific miner and we're gonna change the pool address and choose a username of your own. Let's do it right now. As you can see from the price here, it's gonna cost you $170 a month in California to run this machine. I do pay 20 cents per kilowatt hour. You can see per year, that's $2,084, $86 per year. And then it takes 1,200 watts from the wall, as you can see right here. Now it's gonna get louder and louder because it's getting harder and harder. So that number might go a little higher and uh, the fan will go all the way up and will be pretty loud. So now the first step is to download the free port scanner from advanced-port.scanner.com and once you download and install it, it kind of looks like this. You will see all the IPs on your network. Once it's done scanning, you'll find out your IP for the Antminer D3 that you have and you will be able to see it. So mine is uh, 192.168.0.42. Now it's going to ask for username and password. The username is root and password is root. That's the default for all ant miner devices. We're going to go ahead and look at the miner status to make sure it's working. The pool that it's addressed to is ant pool and the user is ant miner underscore one. Now that's not your, obviously it's not going to go to you. So the person who's profiting right now from the ant miner is actually ant pool themselves. So you're gonna go to Antpool and log into your account or create a new one in order to mine on your D3. Now, once you log into your Antpool account create or created one, you have to go here and click on Dash because we're gonna mine Dash right now. Now, in order to get the Dash information, you just click on the server and you see it right here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that information is already there, which it is. Uh, it's exactly the same right now. So all you have to do is put your user and uh, it will work. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to my own user right now. And you can put dot and whatever you want as a user and then that's your sub user. Now once you save and apply, it's going to turn the machine off 
turn the machine back on. Now it's going to take another 10 minutes to set up, so we're going to have to wait. And once it's done, we can see the results on Antpool. We'll be able to see it hashing right here to make sure it's working. And then we can go to the mining calculator and see exactly how much is our cost, how much we get paid, and how long it will take to make profit. So I googled mining calculator and then it pulled up right away. Now we're going to select dash because we are mining dash right now. And the number of mega hashes we are running right now is 19,300 mega hashes. Okay. When we checked the power consumption was 1,220 watts. Now cost per kilowatt and unfortunately I'm California so it's a lot of money. 20 cents per kilowatt. Now if you're running it at uh, your area and you have less um, consumption for power, it's cheaper, then you're going to make a lot more. So I'm estimated to make $1.77 per day and uh, $53 per month. Now this is uh, obviously a low number, right? But remember, okay, uh, if Dash goes up in price, those numbers will look way different, okay? I remember that one time Dash could come up to hundreds of dollars a day so remember that keep that in mind when you're mining dash it's a really good way to kind of calculate and estimate for what's right now happening and if you enter your own uh, kilowatt hour price you'll be able to see a more accurate number of how much you will pay considering this machine can cost thousands it will take a very very long time to pay it off but if you believe in dash that might be a good idea to get something like this instead of actually buying the coin it really depends how much electricity you pay and how much you believe in Dashcoin. So you saw all the numbers, you saw how it's running, it's really easy to set up, but remember, it's really, really hot as well. It's really loud, you have to have a dedicated spot for it. It might take a while until you get your money back, and those numbers change all the time. So make sure you go to that calculator and actually check how much those machines get to you back. Make sure you buy it from a, a well-known company because there's a lot of scammer websites out there, they say, they are Bitmain or whatever, but they're not. So make sure to buy it either from Amazon or for Bitmain themselves to be safe. Don't forget to subscribe. If you find this video useful, please like this video and comment what else you want me to do a review or do a follow-up on those machines. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.